film one is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Uh, I think. Yep, oh, they moved. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learn good. Well, it's yet another voice effect episode. Go ahead, Lawrence. My God. This time around, we're heading to Flashpoint to answer these requests. All these guys and a bunch more want a rival voice effect. So yeah, today we take on the rival's voice effect in Adobe Audition, and once again, it's pretty damn easy. Now, in order to complete this effect, you don't really have to do anything special, except maybe add a little bit of menace to your voice. Once you've done that, let's head to Adobe Audition and get to work. Alrighty guys, here we are back in Adobe Audition. And just like last time, my audio clip is ready to go. So let's have ourselves a listen. Believe me, Flash, this time, you're not gonna steal my life so easily. Not bad, but let's make it better and a bit more rival-esque. Now right off the bat, you'll recognize these first steps because we did them last week. Let's open a new multi-track session, clicking the multi-track button here, Call it Rival, there we go. And then we're gonna grab that audio clip and we're gonna drag it onto track one and track two. Okay, that's about where the similarities end, I think. So with track one selected, let's head over to the effects rack, modulation and add us a phaser. And from the drop down menu, I'm gonna select underwater. It's tweaking time. Let's change the stages to two, the intensity to 50.2 and the mix to 30.4. Now let's have a listen to that. Believe me, Flash, this time, you're not gonna steal my life so easily. Hey guys, I know that doesn't really sound much different, but trust me, when we add the next effect, it'll sound a lot different. Next step, let's lower that pitch, just a smidge. Head over to the effects rack once more, and we're gonna activate the second effect. We're gonna then head to time and add a pitch shifter. This time, all we're gonna do is just lower it, say, minus three. We'll set the precision to high and check use default settings. Once again, guys, you can adjust this higher or lower if you like. Now let's hear that final mix. Believe me, Flash, this time, you're not gonna steal my life so easily. How easy was that? Now guys, just like with our Savitar voice effect, which you can find on the end screen of this video, we still have to export it to a single mix track. So let's do that right now. Let's go up and grab the cursor icon right up here. Then we're gonna highlight the entire track, right click, Head down to the bottom to mix selection to new file and then select time selection. And there you have it. A quick and easy rival voice in less than five minutes. Add up all those steps and your voice goes from this. Believe me, Flash, this time, you're not gonna steal my life so easily. Uh, to this. Believe, Believe me, Flash, Flash, this time, you're not gonna steal my life so easily. So guys, that's my take on the Rivals voice effect from The Flash Season 3. And just like with Savitar, it's only a few steps to make a cool voice effect. And that's really just the way it should be, right? As always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to support film learning, leave us a like. All my Patreon info is down in the description as well. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? The face clicky thing is right there. Here we have some other videos over here for clicking. Social media crap is above my head. And until next week rolls around, keep learning.